It is time to get dressed and get started. How far will I get today? Who knows? And I'm not putting a time limit on this. We're just going to go, you know. Got to use my cedar wisely because I only have so much. I am going to cut some pieces, cover these up, make it look nice. But I'm moving on today uh, to that little uh, ledge there. I'm going to cover that up. I'm going to do this little end right there. Look way down there in the bed. That's Miss Lazy Bones. She ain't got up yet. She's fixing to go outside. We just got to wait for a sunbeam to get in her area. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me get. I'm still in my uh, morning clothes, so let me get dressed and, and get going on this project. Uh, I can tell you one thing. I was sore for several days after building, you know, going up and down these steps. But it's actually, uh, you know, I'm using muscles now that I haven't really used and it ain't bothering me so much now. So maybe the stairs was a good thing, but yeah, they still hurt going up and down them, but hey, that's life. All right, let's get started on this build. All right, we are starting on this ledge here. That has been bugging me for a couple of years because I never, I ran out of cedar and I never finished it. And the sawmill I was using closed down. So we're gonna start, I'm getting used to this selfie stick here. I've already started there. I'm gonna go cut some more boards. We're gonna go all the way across to this corner. Where is it? Yeah, right there. Get that done and go from there. Uh, pretty darn cold this morning, so I'm getting a late start, but I'm gonna work at it and we'll get everything going. All right, I'm stopping for lunch. Well, we've got this whole wall with the, that top ridge there. I uh, got that part done up there, got the board and batten on. Yeah, let's go up. Got this rail started. I'm getting used to this selfie stick thing, guys. There we go. All right, uh, this iPhone has really become it's coming handy. Uh, thank you, Connie Riffenberg, for sending me this. Uh, I can't hook it up to my cell service, but I can use the camera feature, and it works great. So I've got this installed. I'm gonna eat lunch, then I'm gonna go back and I'll cut that panel and then hopefully I can get these center slatted ones going. Uh, I'm getting low on cedar, but I'll rob it from somewhere else if I have to and finish it. But I may put in some tin down here. But man, I'm getting too much wood in here. It's getting too woody. So we'll see what happens. You can see behind me, I've got that little piece. That looks a whole lot better. Uh, there's a lot of funky angles, 30 degree angles, and I mean, it just, it gets tricky. Uh, I'm starting to become a pretty good trim carpenter, though. Trim carpentry is always the hardest part. Uh, anybody can build anything, but doing the trim, especially when you're dealing with angles like this, uh, it can be tough. But we're getting there, folks. Let me take lunch, and I'll get back to the build. All right, finally. I got that side done. And I got this one going here. I'm gonna put the board and batten on there now, frame it. About an hour into it. But you know, I've been staring at that for years, a couple of years. And man, it feels good to get that part done. Blends in with the other part of the wall there. All right. Let me tell you something. There was no way to put a ladder here with the bed being there. So I've been wearing my slippers and every time and I just stand on the bed and nail those up and you're still kind of leaning backwards. And yeah, that's probably unlevel at some spots and I don't care. I want this place to have kind of the, you know, see here how that wood's kind of sticking out there. I like that. Yeah, that gives it character. So I don't like everything perfectly flat and you know, but I don't like unlevel. 
but that's just you know it's okay i'm gonna leave it and i didn't have any strips long enough to cover that so i had to piece them together and the way the best way to do that i'll show you here is you <coughs> excuse me you put a 45 in each piece of trim and then you can join them together and it doesn't you know the colors don't match and you can tell pretty easy but that's okay now i got to use the scrap that i have and the pieces that i've pulled off and sometimes you got to do that and i don't even think when these were full boards they were this long so i gotta do what i gotta do and up here there'll be a piece uh, i'm gonna leave that open for now i may run electrical wire in a channel there like i did over let me go slow here over on that side uh, without tearing out sheetrock and everything you know uh, it's hard to run new wire and you got to do it hide it the best you can and that's how I did that all right let's get back to work up on what I've done today uh, show you here on the side we'll go up the stairs here in a minute I got everything but the bottom uh, where the wrought iron deal is the rebar that bottom piece with the slats I'll get that tomorrow and that is gonna have this board and batten that's why that is up so high that'll be covered there's a lot of trim to do a lot and we got this done we got this done. I mean, I actually, as much detail as there is to doing this stuff, I got quite a bit done. But Waldo is out there throwing an utter tantrum because he wants to eat. 
so I'm gonna put us I'm gonna stop here and uh, and we'll pick up again tomorrow yeah like I say this board and batten here is gonna continue around to where the stairs in same here and I'll figure something out for this little worthless space here <laughs> if anything it's you know put some kind of a statue or something up there I don't know some plants but it is not the best place to have a plant unless they're fake cactuses or something hey man that'd be cool some fake cacti yeah but we get that little piece there on and uh, I'm leaving that open for now Till I see if there's any more electrical and there probably will be but yeah we're getting there I'm glad to be getting this finally done man it's cool all right guys let me go feed monsters out there before they die of starvation which that won't happen they're so spoiled all right guys happy trails